What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you what to do when your iPhone is not working on Wi-Fi. Even when it's successfully connected to Wi-Fi, it prefers to work on mobile data. Let's go. Number one, let's go ahead and open the settings, then scroll down until you see cellular. Let's go ahead and tap on that setting. Now scroll all the way down, all the way down until you see this setting, Wi-Fi Assist. That's the setting, guys, that is playing with your Wi-Fi connection. Let me explain to you why. This setting automatically use cellular data when Wi-Fi connectivity is poor. Like basically, if you are at home and any family members start using the Wi-Fi, obviously the Wi-Fi connection is going to slow down. Your iPhone automatically is going to switch back to mobile data. So I recommend you to turn off that setting. And if you notice that the Wi-Fi connection is too low, it's not that good. Just do it manually. So just go right here to the control panel, turn off the Wi-Fi, and automatically your phone is going to start working on mobile data. You know what I mean? So just do it manually. Don't let your phone to do that because at the end, it's going to use a lot of data and it's not good. It's not good. Number two, let's go ahead and open the settings. Now let's go ahead and tap on cellular one more time. Now let's go ahead and tap on cellular data actions right here. Then let's go ahead and tap on data mode. And boom, as you can see, if you have that setting on, on your phone, allow more data on 5G, that's another reason why your iPhone prefer to work on mobile data than Wi-Fi. So that setting, allow more data on 5G, might prefer 5G over Wi-Fi, you know? So what you're going to do, switch that setting to standard so that's the setting that is on by default though standard but sometimes we want to have you know more a better data connection and all that we do this one allow more data on 5g but if you're having problem just switch to this one because if your wi-fi connectivity at home is too poor that will not work for you number three another solution guys to that issue let's go ahead and open the settings Scroll down until you see privacy. Let's go ahead and tap on that setting. Then let's go ahead and tap on location and services. Then scroll all the way down until you see this setting, system services. Now let's turn off, uh, let me show you right now, this setting, networking and wireless. Turn it off. Uh, then turn off. As you can see, look at this. Um, turning off location for networking and wireless might affect the Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and ultra wideband performance. So no problem. Turn it off. But you don't gonna leave that setting off. So what you're gonna do now, we start your phone. Turn off your phone. When your phone is completely off, turn it back on. Let me just wait until my phone is on to show you what else you need to do. All right, my phone is on. Let's go ahead and open the settings, then scroll down until you see privacy. Now let's go ahead and tap on location services, then scroll all the way down until you see the same setting, system services. Let's go ahead and tap on that setting. Then um, networking wireless, turn on the setting. And that will restart the Wi-Fi connectivity, guys. That also will help your iPhone to get a better Wi-Fi signal, you know what I mean? And to fix any problem with the Wi-Fi. Now, 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 let me show you the last solution, guys, to that issue. If you still got the same problem on your phone, so what you have to do, open the settings, scroll down, general, scroll down, um, let me see this one, transfer or reset iPhone. Don't worry, you don't going to reset your iPhone, you don't going to lose data. So then let's go ahead and tap on reset. Okay, you're gonna see different choice right here. So be careful uh, selecting the setting on this section. We have reset all settings, that's not it. Reset network settings, that's the one you have to choose, okay? Reset network settings. Put the screen passcode. Okay, before you press reset network setting, read right here this will delete all network settings returning them to factory default like basically um when you do that guys not even the wi-fi is gonna go back to factory default this will apply for any wireless connection such as a bluetooth wi-fi mobile data 
will go back to factory default so but that will fix the problem though you have to do that so after that you will have to connect your iphone to your wi-fi so basically you have to put the wi-fi password you will have to connect all your bluetooth devices to your iphone and all that if you are willing to do that to fix any wi-fi or wireless connection on your iphone this is the solution just tap on reset network settings and that's all you need to do just in case if you still have the same problem the same issue with your wi-fi connection please let me know on the comment so also i need to know your iphone exact model you know what i mean so to use the same iphone on my next video so i'm gonna show you different ways how to get a fix and guys that's all for today if you like this video please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell notification. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video on this channel. Thank you so much.